So hey guys, uh, this is a different type of video as you can see in the title. Uh, this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. This is not a tutorial. Um, it's mm, just a story of my life or a big chapter of my life and a lesson I learned that I hope you don't have to learn because I can just teach you right now. Uh, so that's pretty much why I'm making this video because often since I'm like, since I like started out and I'm doing 3D, people like ask me how much do you make or stuff like that and how much can you make with 3D and how much money should I tell the client I want to earn for this project and stuff like this. Uh, but it all does make sense. So you'll understand when I explain the story because uh, the story is actually kind of funny. So the day when I earned this amount after that one month of work, um, I actually two weeks later quit everything and I sold everything. And at the time, so this wasn't my first uh, month earning that much. So it was like three years. I earned nearly these sums per month, every month, no, no break. Um, and I had a Mustang that I bought with 21 and it was imported uh, from the United States. So it was very expensive here. Uh, then I got another Mustang. Um, and then after that, I got a 540 BMW i with V8. And I drifted all the time. I did burnouts all the time. And I was just kind of being a dick all the time like not my character was being a dick I, I was always nice I'm still nice always nice and friendly but just my behavior was kind of being a dick I guess um, and I just kind of realized that and I kind of rethought life and what I was doing and how I got to this place in life and yeah just what I was doing with life and I felt like I was wasting my life and I also really didn't feel happy because uh, the job was in a different town I always had to go there it was very exhausting and a lot of times I worked till four in the morning and woke up at eight in the morning to work again I did this all week uh, no break I almost never went on to holidays I just worked all the time all the time and that's why I got these sums at some point like I really worked to get there and also these sums seem a lot compared to, I don't know, normal jobs, I guess. But that was the value that I was giving the company. And without me, the costs would just be higher. So without me to like, or basically to find someone new that was able to do what I was doing there would have cost more. So that's kind of why I was earning these sums. So they just didn't give it to me for free. like. I was worth that money at the time. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten it. But still, it all didn't matter. Like, it all didn't matter. So any case, um, <laughs> as you can see, I wasn't happy at that point in life. So I quit everything. Uh, that was two years ago. In the two years, I just kind of rethought everything. I thought I could work in a skate shop. I could just skateboard all day. Like I really was trying to redesign everything I built up. I just really wanted to start from the beginning. I really felt like I was working in the wrong direction for years. And I really felt like I wasted so much lifetime in that job, um, even though it was paid well, it just wasn't worth it. And also, as you can see, the extra money I got, I just bought more cars. I just burnt more tires. I was swapping my tires like once a month and there were like 260 euros per tire. It, it just was stupid. I was just burning money the whole time. Um, so what I'm trying to say is two years later after I left and tried to find out what I want to do in life I started YouTube as you can see that's why you're watching my video and recently uh, people sent me renderings of the tutorials I made so I made the tutorials and they copied the tutorial and recreated images and sent it to me and they said thank you for the tutorial blah 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 and I felt so happy seeing these renderings and I just felt so fulfilled and suddenly happy uh, and something I never felt in the time I was earning so much money. And the funny thing is, I feel like I'm earning much, much more now, but not in form from money, but in form of like fulfillment. Like I'm just way more happy. And I wake up in the morning, I feel like, oh, it's such a good day. When I make a new video, I'm like so happy to like upload it because I'm like, ah, oh, I'm going to help people. It's just going to be so cool to see people get further in Blender or maybe with this video further in life and just um, see them move on and develop. And for me, this is something you couldn't really just pay in money. So if someone would offer me a job now for 30K a month and say, you're gonna be in this little room, just do this project for one year, uh, but don't do YouTube because you won't have time, just do this. And I definitely would say no. And I think that a lot of people that I know that do 3D or are starting out, they would say yes, because they're like, fuck, 30K? That's so much money. Like, I can't say no, but I would say no. So that's why I'm making this video is to kind of show you 
that you shouldn't be working for the money and it's not about the money. At the end, you just want to be happy and fulfilled. I have no idea what it is. Maybe for you, it is skateboarding all day. Maybe it is for me. I don't know. I don't think it is because I always hurt myself and I, it's also not the right thing. Um, but YouTube seems to be the right thing. Um, so what I'm just trying to say is it's not about the money because I just realized often people think it's about the money and they learn 3D to earn money, but that's really not the point. And yeah, at the end of the day, just have fun, stay motivated. Also, if you want to maybe hear one last thing about the whole packaged story um, of me being motivated, which brought me to that place in life, if you want to go there, I really don't recommend you go there. But if you would want to go there, there's pretty much this one key factor I have in me, uh, and that's motivation always. So if I start something new, I do it till the end. I don't sleep until it's finished. I do it like just till the end. Like I just give so much power. I rather finish something than eat or sleep or even go to the toilet. Sometimes I don't go to the toilet <laughs> forever because I can't stop. So that's the thing that I have in me that I recommend you also try to get in you. Maybe it's also unhealthy being too motivated. But if you want to like kind of learn one thing, it's being motivated and always learn more so you always have to learn more and you'll get where i was uh, but try to re-aim it and aim it more to being happy with what you do because you can keep on doing this and it won't go away and you're just going to be happy on the way and you feel like you achieved something you created something you have a imprint on the world also if it's just tiny also if you just helped one person or whatever it's worth way more than just working for a client and yeah, just wasting your time. <laughs> so I guess the moral of the story is don't do 3D to earn money. Um, do 3D because it's fun. And if it's not fun, I guess don't do it. And if it's fun, do it, <laughs> but do it for the 3D part, you know? Just do it because you like doing 3D and don't do it because you like earning money, I guess, because you can do that for a few years, but after that, you can't do it anymore. And it's just really not worth it. And also, if I think back, the only thing that was worth it is learning this lesson. Um, but otherwise, it all wasn't worth it. Also, the money is all spent. It's all gone. And actually, it was pretty hard to get out of the situation with all the tax, because if you earn that much money and spend all the money and then don't earn any money, <laughs> uh, you still have to pay tax in these sums of money. So also, this can be a very uncomfortable situation to get into. You can't just jump out of that lifestyle that quickly. So, yeah, I don't know. Don't do it. Just do whatever is fun to you. Um, keep learning, uh, always stay motivated, always try to find new things like in life in general, but also in 3D. And that's pretty much the key to success, but not the key to success of being a millionaire. Maybe, I don't know, but just the success to just being happy and you wake up in the morning in the morning and just, yeah, just feel fulfilled. Like you just feel good. You know, you just feel like you're worth living here and you have an imprint and I don't know. It's just really good feeling uh, once you found the right thing. And maybe even YouTube isn't the exactly right thing, but I noticed this is the first time in life that I kind of found the right thing. Um, so yeah, just think about it. Um, and I hope this video helps a bit of a strange video, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but I still think I had to make this video, especially after seeing these renderings and multiple questions of how much money you can make in 3d how much money should i take per hour all these questions and i love answering questions but i can't answer these questions with it's 50 euros per hour it's 10 euros per hour it's 500 euros per hour i can't a just answer these questions um and it's also not the point um and it shouldn't be the point and if it's the point it's not the right thing and i also thought that was the point and i realized four years later that wasn't the point and it was just wasted lifetime pretty much and I lost a lot of friends also in the time because I was working so much. It was just wasted. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Bit awkward. <laughs> Have fun. And uh, keep learning Blender. Goodbye. <laughs>